Hello everyone, welcome back to Tearless Time. <laughs> Today's tier list will be none other than the Alien and Predator franchise. Obviously we got our five stages, okay. we got the... Sorry, I didn't mean to rock, sorry. Sierra's here too, she's in the dark. Uh, <laughs> she just interrupted me. Obviously we got the I love it for the movies I love. We got good, meh, bad, incomplete, shit tier. We got the complete shit tier for movies that are complete and utter <laughs> shit. Obviously, let's get started. We got the first Alien movie. It's a good movie. It's not... It's a classic, so you gotta put it in good. I wouldn't say I love it because it has a bunch of flaws that are very noticeable. But it's still a good watch. Still a very, very good watch. Aliens, on the other hand, is an I love it movie. That is a beautiful sequel to a franchise. Beautiful sequel. It was it was great. It was wonderful. Aliens is basically how you describe it as art. A masterpiece. Something we all strive to be. Uh, Predator, the one with Arnold. I like it better than Alien. I like it better than the first Alien movie, honestly. Because it was, you understood the assignment here. It's an art. It's an action horror movie. Both of these franchises are action horror, but they focus mainly on action. And with the cast you had here, it was hard to get it wrong. At the time. It was hard to get it wrong at the time. Nowadays, you can probably get it wrong quickly. But at the time, this was the perfect casting. And Jean-Claude Van Damme was almost the original Predator. However, he turned it down because the suit was... He didn't like the suit. Anyway, up next we got Predator 2. It's complete shit. Her to his complete shit. I hate it. I'll tell you why I hate it. You think putting Predator in a city environment would have been a fantastic idea. It's a great concept. However, done extremely poorly. Danny Glover tries his ass off, but he can't get this movie off the... It's going into the ditch. He can't turn it the wheel. He's stuck in the back. He's trying. He's trying, but, the, but it's too late. The car went off the cliff and killed him. Not in real life, but <laughs> let's face it, his career after Lethal Weapon has been... Well, he did do Jumanji Next Level. That's all you remember, really, though. Was that he was in it. Alien 3. Ooh. Disappointment, but not worse than prior to 2. Alien 3 was a disappointment. It really was, like... Alien 3 was... What happens when you try to revive a franchise? You try to bring a franchise back from the dead and shit? But it just fails. Miserably. And the reason because of that is because they had to pick up a story and an ending that was so iconic. And they had to make a new iconic ending, a.k.a. Lava. Or have I seen that ending before? Alien Resurrection, in my opinion, is worse. <laughs> because, here's the th I'll put it lower than Predator 2. I really will. Because I didn't understand it. No understanding. Actually, I'll just put Alien 3 in bad. Because, at least, it tried because it was so well anticipated and shit. Resurrection was just awful. 
for the franchise. It was awful. We had a human xenomorph hybrid in this movie, and then. Bradley was just a robot? We had Alien vs. Predator next. That was bad. I, I swear, the Alien vs. Predator films were not good. They were not. This one was just focused on telling you the backstory that the aliens and the Predators have been fighting for centuries. Bitch, you wear. When, I get the that the in the second Predator movie that the Predator had, the, there was a, like a, the skull of a xenomorph, but we hadn't seen them fought before. How could they have been fighting for centuries? How? Motherfucker. Yes, I have seen all these movies. I watched, I reviewed them all on TikTok. Go follow me there. Alien vs. Predator 2. Alien vs. Predator Requiem. The worst film in this whole saga. I'll tell you why. First of all, Alien vs. Predator was only rated PG-13. This one was rated R. That would have been good. However... <laughs> Oh boy, the story was terrible. It was hard to get invested in. It was that difficult to get invested in. It. That difficult. I can't believe this film even got off the ground. I'm surprised. Like, the first film wasn't that good to be made into a sequel anyway. Why'd they make a sequel? Then we got Predators, which was, it was alright. Predators was okay. I'll give it that. I enjoyed it. The fact that Lawrence Fishburne had like a mini cameo was funny. Yeah, the fact that we're on the the planet of the Predators and shit. There's different kinds of Predators. That's a cool thing to learn. And to be on. I mean, it was it wasn't bad. It wasn't the best, but it wasn't bad. Prometheus, the fifth alien movie. I'm putting in okay. It was okay. I didn't enjoy it more than Predators, but it was okay. It, we, we went to space again. Like every alien movie before it. We went to space, except this time we landed on a planet and stayed there for a bit. And we found a new type of alien, the Prometheuses. They look human, but they aren't. That that's that's the purpose. Alien Covenant did not like it. I I was not a fan of Covenant. And well, yeah, I'll put it there. I was not a big fan of Covenant. I wasn't. Because I felt like it was so stupid. Like, if you want to continue the story of Prometheus, congratulations, but then again, you did it very poorly. It tries to continue the story, but I feel like at some point in Covenant, they forgot what the story of Prometheus was, and they just tried to do something else. The Predator from 2018. It's a bad movie. It's it's bad. In my opinion, it, it goes right here. It goes right here, right? before AVP. Um, the Predator was horrible. It, was, it wasn't complete shit. I won't give it that. It tries. It tries. But, I mean, we're back putting the Predator in a public setting. My main problem with this is that the Predator is CGI now. That's a main problem. That the big Predator is all CGI. That's a problem. And it's not that. It doesn't look that great, honestly. Uh, oh, also, the controversy behind the scenes. The One of the guys who were in the scene with Olivia Mung, Olivia Mung, after doing the scene, went home, Googled the guy, found out that he, he was a predator, and then, like a literal child predator, and then... Decided to tell the director, cut all my scenes with him, now, and then the director had to. 
Yeah, they had a child pregnant on set, so that that brings it down a whole lot. If it wasn't, the, it would have been better than Covenant had the child pregnant not been on set. And then we get to Prey. I actually really loved this movie. It was a great continuation of the franchise. The movie Prey was so good, guys. It was, it was it released on Hulu, which you think would be the death, but no, actually, it actually, I think it worked out better on being put on a streaming service instead of in the. I wish it was in theaters. I think barely anyone saw it, and that's why it's there. But yeah, Prey was fucking amazing in my opinion. It was a good revival, and I'm starting to see a pattern here with the Predator movies. We had good, we had bad we had good we had bad and then and we're back to good meaning if they make a six predator movie called prey 2 it's probably going to be pretty bad <laughs> ain't it so i'm hoping that prey 2 isn't doesn't follow the formula of the predator movies but it is a good ass movie it was it was fucking amazing and it released this year how about that that is the my tier list of the Predator and Prey movie. The, my Predator and Alien movies. That is the tier list, ladies and gentlemen. Clap it up. Now that all that is done, thank you for watching. This is my tier list of these movies. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more. And I will see you all in the next video. See you.